Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Aliens Bishop figure from NECA Toys. That's right, we are on the verge of getting some really cool new additions to the Aliens lineup from NECA Toys. We've got so many great Xenomorphs in this line already, but one of the things that's really great is we're starting to get some of the other characters from the various Alien films. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bishop as he appeared in the film Aliens. As you can see, he comes in a nice clamshell style packaging, fully showcasing the action figure within. And up there at the top, we have the Aliens movie logo. Flipping that box around to the backside, we get a description of the character, as well as a really nice image of the figure itself, and a look at some of the other figures available in this current wave. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Bishop outside of the packaging. The sculpt on this guy is fantastic, and NECA is known for their really tremendous sculpt work. He has a great likeness to actor Lance Henriksen. And the paint job on the figure really helps to bring out all of those added details. I love all of the realism in the face sculpt there. Everything about him just looks perfect on this guy. The figure stands right about that 7 inch scale mark, and you can see he's just wearing sort of that signature blue jumpsuit there, and even though it's kind of just a plain jumpsuit, there's still a lot of really great work going on with all of the sculpted details there that really help it to stand out. You can see all of the great little wrinkles and folds, you got the little belt going around his waist, going through the belt loops, little zippers on the pockets, all of these little great details, all the way down to the little stitchings and all of the little pockets and everything all around the costume are beautifully captured in the sculpt and the paint job being a great mixture of this dark blue with a nice little wash on there just helps to bring out all of the details on this guy I mean even look at the shoes on him the shoes look fantastic got those great sneakers there with the white and the reds everything about this guy looks really awesome all the way down to all of those minute little details I think NECA always does a fantastic job with that and it's really great getting some of these characters who we've always wanted to see updated action figures of actually resemble their movie counterparts and I think NECA did a fantastic job with that here with this figure so let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation here. The head's on a nice ball joint, so it can look left and right, also move up and down very nicely. You got those ball-like joints at the shoulder, so the arms can go upwards, forwards, and backwards there. You got swivels at the elbow, as well as a standard elbow bend, and that joint's kind of nice and hidden behind the uh, rolled-up sleeve there, so it works really well. You've also got nice little ball joints at the wrist, so the hands can swivel and kind of roll around there. The torso can rock around, it's on a nice ball joint so you can rock around the upper body there and you will notice that the uh, bodysuit he's wearing is attached to the figure but it's kind of a softer material so it still allows him to articulate. Then the legs are on nice joints that allow him to move upwards, outwards, forwards and backwards right at the thighs as well as a nice little swivel there. You've got great joints at the knees that are hidden, uh, the articulation points nice and hidden so you can swivel them as well as bend them there and then the feet have the ability just to swivel left and right at the ankle, that's all the ankle articulation you get. But Still some really nice articulation, it functions very well, and all of it is nice and tight. Now Bishop here does include a few accessories. First of all, he does include an interchangeable right hand. The hand that he comes packaged with is more of an open palm hand, so if you want to, you can pop that off the little joint, and in its place, pop on this more of a tighter gripping hand, which will work for his knife accessory. Now. One thing to know is that popping on the new jointed hand there is a little tight at first. So you might want to be really careful when popping this on and you might even want to use the uh, hair dryer trick to kind of warm it up the first time around. Um, I would just be cautious because you don't want to snap off that peg. I have noticed a lot of times with NECA figures when there are interchangeable parts, they're always really tight to get on the first time around. So be cautious with that. But once you get it on there, it does fit and function exactly the same as the other hand before it, and now we can hold on to the little knife accessory that is included with him. The second accessory he includes is actually more for that open hand that we already took off, but this is a cool little flashlight accessory, which is very cool looking. The sculpt on it is gray with a nice little clear portion in there that kind of shows a little bulb on the inside, and he can hold that perfectly in that little uh, open grip hand there, so that way you can pose him using the little flashlight. So there you go my friends, there is a look at the brand new Bishop figure from NECA Toys as he appeared in the Aliens film.
Like I said earlier in this review, I really think that NECA did a fantastic job capturing the overall likeness of the actor and bringing it into action figure form. And it's really great finally getting some very nice action figures based on the way these characters appeared in these films. Bishop is a great action figure all around. I think the articulation functions very well and the paint job and sculpt are both top notch. So any fans of the film will surely want to be adding this guy to their collection. Now this newest wave of alien figures will be hitting stores this December, so happy hunting my friends, and until next time.